What's up guys and welcome back to Tweak and where we're checking out the best tweaks that has been released in the week. The first tweak in the list is called Make Respring Great Again which allows you to bring the respring or the Apple logo when you're a Springer device. So usually when you're a Springer device, you will only see the loading loading indicator until you get to the lock screen. But with make the respring right again, you can see if I respring my device, you can see the Apple logo is back again. Next up we have pass button styles which you can see customize the look of the passcodes button. So you can see here I have them a little bit transparent. And you can customize the look within the settings of the tweak here you can have the you can have the button much cleaner light bubble and default and respring in order for the change to take place tiny siri minimized siri interface to have it like a banner so instead of having like intrusive interface of siri you can see here if i tap and hold you will see it as a banner right there and you can talk to it as usual hey siri play a song So you can see it play the song. Translucent messages adds a blur style to your messages app. So it takes the wallpaper of your home screen, adds a blur effect and use it in your messages app. Here we have Sonas which puts the volume HUD on the status bar as you can see right there. And also you can see icons indicator of the volume it's highly customizable within its settings you can customize the appearance here the colors of the slider you can change the thickness or or have the slider thin as you can see here i have a thick and other options like the animation and much more the last but not least we have spring plus which allows you to hide many elements within your ios device so here in the springboard you can hide the labels you can hide the dock background and also in the notification center you can see it hides the, the bouncing any effect when i swipe down you can see the animation of the notification center goes down directly without a bounce effect and here in, in its settings you can hide so much elements so you can see how i removed the dark background labels and also here in the lock screen I hide the dots and the camera icon so you can see here I have no glyphs or dots only the clock and also here in the app switcher you can see I have the app switcher or the cards of the app switcher are now rounded it's because of this tweak you can see you, en you can enable it here and you can adjust the intensity of the rounding corners you can disable the blur hide completely the, the app icons and here in the system wide you can have the you can have a block keyboard you can have the borders in the key of the keyboard and you can disable the spotlight disable the flash on, on when you take a screenshot and here in the applications here in the settings you can hide the icons in the settings the separators and also in the photos app you can increase the zoom capability you can hide the people section you can have no confirmation when you delete in a photo and you can hide tabs like the album tab memory tab and also the animation of the clock icon in the springboard so you can see here usually it moves with spring plus the animation is removed that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did let me know by smashing that like button and subscribe if you haven't for new content thank you for watching now we'll catch you in the next one